So, we're back on the King Legacy Sword tier list. So, last time we did... Last time we did Sweet Lozenge, which, as we already established, go, just went straight into the D tier in terms of swords. So, uh, we're going to be using Ancient Sword this time around. Now, if you guys don't know what Ancient Sword is, we had this, like, two battle passes ago. It's an untradeable item now. But this is a pretty mid-sword, so... It's d damage wise, it's not too bad. You know, using that uncharged actually deals like a really decent amount of damage. It's actually pretty consistent too. You get this back pretty fast, so that's not that bad. You got a, a somewhat of a decent. I've got great thrust, which honestly is just a little bit more damage. It's not that much, but that's all the attack capability that this sword had. This is all the damage that it's capable of. This is the best that it can do in terms of damage. That's an issue. Uh, next move that it has, I don't know why this move works like that. Life shield, it increases your maximum HP instead of just increasing your defense, which is like, why? That is really, that, that's really dumb. So if, if I just go ahead here, let's just say, you know, let's just say he's wailing on me, right? So he's wailing on me, I put this on and I basically get more maximum HP. But whenever I lose the buff, I'm just back at the HP that I was before, which is like, what's the point? Why didn't they just make this shield just increase your defense by like 15, 20%? That would have been way better. Why does it increase your maximum HP for a short amount of time? It doesn't make any sense. I, I don't get it. I genuinely don't get it. This sword also is just, it's not good for PVP either. It only drains one dodge at a time. And you can get up to 10 to 11. I think probably 12 based on what race you're using. If you're using human, which I have. It has decent M1 speeds, but like, this thing's pretty bad, honestly. Its Z skill is kind of only saving grace, but once again, there's better swords you can use for this. This is not the end-all be-all. And not only that, it's untradeable. You can't even get it anyway. So if we actually look at the facts, this sword actually does not deal that much. It doesn't even deal great damage to begin with. And life shield is just, of course, useless. Does it increase your HP regen? It doesn't even do that. So I'm going to put this sword at an F tier. You know what? D tier. I'll put it at a D tier. Same as Sweet Lozenge. The only reason I'm putting it at a D tier is because the Z skill comes back pretty quickly and it does pretty decent damage. Once again, I'm using a lot of accessories and a lot of stuff to boost it. Also, man, the range on that is terrible. It's not a D, and it's not an F. I'm going to put it into E tier. It's going into E tier. But this weapon is absolute garbage, but it doesn't really matter. It's untradeable. It's never, I don't think it's ever going to be tradable. So that's really it. 